Good morning friends. Today we are discussing another area for CA foundation. Sequence series AP, GP and HP. Okay. First we can discuss what is a sequence. What is a sequence? Unordered collection of numbers let it be a1 a2 a3 etc an etc is a sequence is a sequence if according to definite rule or law according to definite rule or law there is an element there is a definite value of a n called the term of the sequence comma corresponding to any natural corresponding to any value of natural number n okay that means an ordered collection sequence mean an means an ordered collection ordered collection of numbers let it be a1 a2 a3 etc an if according to definite a rule or law what is this means it should be in order the collection should be in order and we can find the nth term any nth term that means value of n can be any value of natural number n okay let's consider some examples 1 2 3 4 etc okay is this a sequence or not okay first the second term is obtained by adding 1 third term is obtained by adding 1 to the second term fourth term is obtained by adding 1 to the third term that means ordered collection and definite rule or law the rule or law here is every term is obtained by adding a constant 1 to the preceding term okay that means it is a sequence then next one 2 4 8 16 etc okay in this case is this a sequence or not okay look into it second term is obtained by multiplying 2 with the first term third term is obtained by multiplying again multiplying 2 with the second term fourth term is obtained by multiplying 2 with the third term that means this collection is an ordered collection and follows some definite rule or law that means second term is obtained by multiplying a constant 2 to the first term and third term is obtained by multiplying a constant 2 to the second term Now consider the second portion series what is a series an expression an expression of the form a1 plus a2 plus a3 plus etc plus a n plus etc is a series comma 
ए वन कोमा ए टू कोमा ए थ्री एक्सेट्रा आर टर्म्स ऑफ ए सीक्वेंस ओके दैट मींस इन शॉर्ट वी कैन से ए सीरीज इज ए इज द सम ऑफ द एलिमेंट्स ऑफ ए सीक्वेंस दैट मींस सम ऑफ द एलिमेंट्स ऑफ ए सीक्वेंस इज कॉल्ड ए सीरीज ओके देन major areas under this chapter sequence are divided into three first one arithmetic progression ap second one geometric progression gp then third one harmonic progression hp okay first arithmetic progression okay what is an arithmetic progression okay a sequence is said to be an arithmetic progression that means let's consider a sequence a1 comma a2 comma a3 comma etc an we are taking n elements okay sequence a1 a2 a3 etc an is said to be an ep are said to be an arithmetic progression if is in ap if the second term a2 minus a1 should be equal to third term minus second term equal to etc an minus an minus 1 that means nth term minus n minus 1th term so that means ap is a sequence in which each term is obtained by adding a constant it can be denoted by d d to the preceding term so that means ap is a sequence in which each term is obtained by adding a constant d to the preceding term now next major area is nth term of an ap nth term of an ap now we are discussing the nth term of ap okay let a be the first term of ap and d be the common difference d be the common difference then tn we know that let me be the first term a be the first term then t2 as per definition ap okay each term is obtained by adding a constant d to the preceding term a plus d then t3 as per definition ap is the sequence in which each term is obtained by adding a constant d to the preceding term to find the third term the preceding term is second term we can write a plus d plus d that implies a plus 2d then t4 third term a plus 2d plus d that implies a plus 3d like this we can find out the nth term is equal to nth term of ap is equal to a plus n minus 1 into d nth term of ap will be a plus n minus 1 into d a plus n minus 1 into d, where a is the first term and d is the common difference now let us consider some of n terms of ap of ap we can denote it as 
Sn. Okay. The formula for finding n terms of an AP is Sn is equal to n by 2 into 2a plus n minus 1 into d. Sn is equal to n by 2 into 2a plus n minus 1 into d. We can use another formula. Sometimes in exams they will give a first term and the last term. For that we can use another formula called Sn is equal to n by 2 into a plus l. Okay. Where a is the first term and l is the last term. Okay. Now we can discuss some useful formulas under AP. First one, sum of first n natural numbers, sum of first n natural numbers, Sn is equal to n into n plus 1 divided by 2. Then second formula, useful formula is sum of the squares of first n natural numbers sn is equal to n into n plus 1 into 2n plus 1 the whole divided by 6 then third one sum of the cubes of first n natural numbers sn is equal to n into n plus 1 divided by 2 the whole raised to 2 the whole square sn is equal to n into n plus 1 divided by 2 the whole square then next one sum of first n odd numbers sn is equal to n square then last one sum of first n even numbers sn is equal to n into n plus 1 that means sum of first n natural number n into n plus 1 divided by 2 sum of the squares of first n natural numbers n into n plus 1 into n to n plus 1 divided by 6 sum of the cubes of first n natural number n into n plus 1 divided by 2 the whole square sum of first n odd numbers will be sn is equal to n square and sum of first n even numbers sn is equal to n into n plus 1 okay then another important area under ap is arithmetic mean am arithmetic mean am let a comma b comma c are in ap then from the definition we know that second term b minus first term should be equal to third term minus second term b to the left hand side lhs minus b will be plus b then b plus b 2b is equal to a plus c therefore b is equal to a plus c divided by 2 then B is called the arithmetic mean between A and C. B is called the arithmetic mean between A and C. A, B, C are in AP. Then B equal to A plus C divided by 2 is called the arithmetic. We know that average two terms A and C adding A plus C divided by 2 is called the arithmetic mean of A between A and C. Then one more useful formula is there. Exams there is a question asked. In questions it is given that Sn is equal to something. We have to find the Tn, the nth term of AP. Okay. If sum of n terms of AP Sn is given we have to find the nth term tn the formula then the formula for finding nth term is equal to 
S n minus S n minus 1. We can use this formula. Nth term of A p. When sum of n terms are given, then T n is equal to S n minus S n minus 1. Now we shall discuss the next portion GP geometric progression geometric progression okay like a p a sequence a1 comma a2 comma a3 etc a n we are taking n terms is a is said to be a gp said to be a gp when second term divided by first term a2 divided by a1 is equal to third term divided by second term is equal to an divided by a n minus 1 that means gp is a sequence in which each term is obtained by multiplying a constant let it be r with the preceding term then r is called the common ratio of gp okay let a sequence a1 a2 a3 etc an is said to be a gp when a2 divided by a1 is equal to a3 divided by a2 is equal to etc an divided by an minus 1 that means gp is a sequence in which each term is obtained by multiplying a constant r with the preceding term this r is called the common ratio of gp then now we shall discuss the next portion nth term of gp let a be the first term and r be the common ratio of gp then first term can be denoted by t1 is equal to a then second term t2 okay we know from the definition gp is a sequence in which each term is obtained by multiplying a constant r to the preceding term so that means first term second term will be first term into common ratio r then obviously third term will be a r into r a r square fourth term a r square into r a r cubed like that the nth term will be a into r raised to n minus 1. nth term will be a into r raised to n minus 1. nth term will be a into r raised to n minus 1. Now, next one is sum of n terms of GP. Sum of GP series. Okay. Sn is equal to sum of n terms of GP. Sn is equal to A into R raised to n minus 1 divided by R minus 1 if r greater than 1 that means if common ratio greater than 1 we use the formula sn is equal to a into r is to n minus 1 divided by r minus 1 then another formula sn is equal to a into 1 minus r is to n divided by 1 minus r if r less than 1 okay 
we have two formulas for finding sum of gp series sum of finite gp series that means sn is equal to a into r raised to n minus 1 divided by r minus 1 if we have to find the common ratio if r is greater than 1 we can use this formula if r is less than 1 sn is equal to a into 1 minus r raised to n divided by 1 minus r then another formula is there sum of infinite gp series sum of infinite gp series okay so that means sum of uh, finite gp series means we know the last term that means nth term we know that the nth term is like this okay under infinite gp series it will be like etc so we can sum of infinite gp series formula for finding sum of infinite gp series we can denote it as s infinity is equal to a divided by 1 minus r where a is the first term and r is the common ratio one more condition is there r should be less than one to suit this formula r should be less than one okay then two formulas are there sum of gp series sn is equal to a into r raised to n minus 1 divided by r minus 1 if r greater than 1 and sn is equal to a into 1 minus r raised to n divided by 1 minus r if r less than 1 and sum of infinite gp series very important s infinity is equal to a divided by 1 minus r now we shall discuss another area geometric mean gm if a comma b comma c are in gp then from the definition we know that b divided by a second term divided by first term should be equal to third term divided by second term cross multiplying we get b square equal to ac or b equal to root of ac b is the geometric mean between a and c we can use both this formula sometimes we can use b square equal to ac then second one b equal to root ac according to the information given in the question both are useful formulas for finding gm geometric mean of a geometric progression Okay, now we shall discuss the next area, harmonic progression. What is a harmonic progression? Okay, a sequence is given. We take its reciprocal. If the reciprocals are in AP, then that sequence is called a harmonic progression. A sequence of quantities comma if we take their reciprocals reciprocals and the reciprocals are in ap then the sequence is called in hp sequence is called a sequence of quantities are second and we have to take their reciprocals if the reciprocal sequence are in ap then the original sequence is called in harmonic progression now we shall discuss the nth term of an HP harmonic progression Tn is equal to 1 divided by nth term of corresponding AP. Tn is equal to nth term of a harmonic progression is equal to 1 divided by nth term of corresponding AP. We know that 
harmonic progression means a sequence is given we have to take the reciprocal of given sequence if the reciprocals are in ap then that sequence is called in harmonic progression then the next portion is harmonic mean hm harmonic mean hm a comma b comma c are in hp then the harmonic mean b is equal to we can say b is equal to 2 ac divided by a plus c 2 ac divided by a plus c okay just look into it okay we know that a sequence is said to be in harmonic progression if their reciprocals 1 by a 1 by b 1 by c are in ap we know the formula for finding arithmetic mean am okay a b c are in ap then b is equal to let it be a b c then b equal to a plus c divided by 2 okay like this we can take 1 by b is equal to 1 by a plus 1 by c the whole divided by 2 or we can write it as 1 by 2 into 1 by a plus 1 by c okay take the lcm then 1 by 2 into c plus a divided by ac or can be written as b 1 by b is equal to a plus c divided by 2 ac okay we get 1 by b that means we have we need b that means reciprocal b is equal to 2 ac divided by a plus c okay we get the formula now we shall discuss the relation between arithmetic mean, geometric mean and harmonic mean. A relation between AM, comma, GM, comma, HM. First one, AM greater than GM greater than HM. Then second one, gm square is equal to am into hm gm square is equal to am into hm okay let's consider we know that am b is equal to a plus c divided by 2 gm b is equal to root ac or b square equal to ac hm is equal to hm b is equal to 2 ac divided by a plus c okay given that the relation between am gm and hm can be written as gm square equal to am into hm take am into hm is equal to am a plus c divided by 2 into hm 2 ac divided by a plus c ac ac get cancelled 2 2 get cancelled ac what is ac b square b square means gm square that means gm square is equal to am into hm okay one more useful formula is there for finding sum of infinite terms of an AGP series, APGP series, sum of infinite terms of AGP series, that means an APGP series, we can write S infinity is equal to A divided by 1 minus R plus DR divided by 1 minus R the whole square. Now we shall summarize the topic discussed. First, arithmetic progression AP. Then, 
the nth term of arithmetic progression. If the first term of an AP is A and the common difference is D, then nth term of AP denoted by Tn is equal to A plus N minus 1 into D. Now, sum of an AP series. Sum of N terms of an AP, it can be denoted by Sn is equal to N by 2 into 2A plus N minus 1 into D. Now, another formula for finding sum of n terms of an AP, Sn is equal to n by 2 into A plus L, where A is the first term of the AP and L is the last term of the AP. Now, arithmetic mean of an AP. If A, B, C are three consecutive terms of an AP, then the AM of A and C given by B is equal to A plus C divided by 2. Now, the sum of first n natural numbers, n into n plus 1 divided by 2. Then the next one, sum of the squares of first n natural numbers, n into n plus 1 into 2n plus 1, the whole divided by 6. Then, sum of the cubes of first n natural numbers, n into n plus 1 divided by 2, the whole square. Then, Sum of first n odd numbers is equal to n square. Now, sum of first n even natural numbers equal to n into n plus 1. Then, if Sn is given, then we have to find the nth term of AP. Tn is equal to, we can use the formula, Tn is equal to Sn minus Sn minus 1. Now, the formulas relating to geometric progressions are as follows. First one, the nth term of a GP. If the first term of GP is A and the common ratio is R, then the nth term of GP denoted by Tn is equal to A into R raised to N minus 1. Then sum of GP series, sum of n terms of GP, Sn is equal to A into R raised to N minus 1 divided by R minus 1 if r greater than 1. Another formula for finding sum of n terms of gp, a into 1 minus r raised to n divided by 1 minus r if r less than 1. Then geometric mean of a gp. If a, b, c are three consecutive terms of gp, then the geometric mean of a and c is given by b is equal to root a c. Now sum of infinite terms of a gp is denoted by S, S infinity equal to A divided by 1 minus R. Now the next area is harmonic progression and the formulas relating to harmonic progressions are as follows. The first one, nth term of a harmonic progression denoted by Tn is equal to 1 divided by nth term of corresponding AP. Then the harmonic mean of a harmonic progression. A, B, C are three consecutive terms of a harmonic progression. Then the harmonic mean of A and C is given by B equal to 2AC divided by A plus C. Now we can discuss the relation between AM, GM and HM. First one, AM greater than GM greater than HM. Then the second formula, very important formula, GM square is equal to AM into HM. Then one more additional formula for finding S infinity that means sum of infinite terms of an AGP series is equal to S infinity is equal to A by 1 minus R plus DR divided by 1 minus R the whole square.